Hey y'all, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to crochet this really easy keyhole kitchen towel using the linen stitch and cotton yarn. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. All right, y'all, we are gonna be making a keyhole kitchen towel using this cotton yarn from Peaches and Cream. I got this at Walmart, but you can use whatever type of cotton yarn you like. I have two skeins of white and one of this. What color is this? Rosemary. So, really super simple. We're only going to be using one stitch, and that is the linen stitch. Some people call this the moss stitch. Call it linen stitch. You call it whatever you want to call it. But anyway, let's go ahead and make a slip knot and get your yarn on your hook. I'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook. And yes, this is my light up hook because I can't find my blue one that I usually use That's a 4.5. But anyway, what we're going to be starting off with is a chain of 40, okay? And this is going to give us a nice size towel. But if, if you want, make it however wide you want. Just use an even number of chains to start off with. So anyway, we're going to chain 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on. All right, we have our 40, and I forgot to show you the yardage on these. Where did it go? Um, somewhere. There's 120 yards in these, okay? 120 yards. But anyway, I don't advise using acrylic because acrylic yarn, it's very scratchy when it comes to things like dishcloths and toes. I don't know. I just, I can't stand the feel of it when it gets wet. Cotton is better. It's going to dry a lot faster, and it's going to last you a lot longer when you use it in the kitchen. So now that we have our 40 chains, you're gonna single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So not this one here, go over to that one there. And you're going to single crochet right there. Chain one, skip a stitch, and single crochet into the next one. Let's get some more yarn. I should have gotten some more yarn. Where's my yarn bowl? I don't know. So now we're gonna chain one, skip a stitch, and single crochet into the next one. Chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet into the next one. And that's basically all you're doing. Chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet. Chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet. Okay, so you are going to do this all the way across till you come to the very end. Okay, I have worked my way all the way down and I put a single crochet in this very last stitch. So now what we're gonna do is chain one and flip it around. Now for this pattern, I'm gonna be striping the yarn a little bit. If you don't want to put in stripes, you do not have to. I'd made a blanket and someone had asked, do I have to make it striped? Do I have to change colors? Uh, no, why, why would you have to? You can do whatever you want to do. You can use all one color. You can use self-striping yarn. You can use the variegated cotton yarn. You can put in stripes. No, no, you do it however you want to do it. But anyway, now that we've turned our work, let's take a look here. And you see this is our first single crochet. And then here is that chain one space. You're going to work a single crochet into that chain one space. Chain one. Skip a stitch, single crochet into the chain one space. Chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet into the chain one space. Chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet into the chain one space. And this is all that we are doing all the way across. Really easy, but yet it gives you a lot of texture that I think is important in things like dishcloths and dish towels and things of that nature. So you want a stitch that's easy, can work up quickly, but yet give you texture to get the job done, you know? So I'm going to work my way all the way across. Okay, so we have come all the way to the end, and you see we have this space over here. You're going to chain one. And then just put you a single crochet right here. That will be the top of that chain one that we made earlier, okay? All right, so let's straighten it out. Like so. Let's stretch it a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to chain one. Turn it around. So we're going to skip this stitch here. Go straight into that chain one space. With a single crochet. Chain one. Skip a stitch. Go into that chain one space with a single crochet, chain one, 
skip a stitch, single crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet, and chain one. Really super simple. Now I'm not exactly sure how many rows I want to do before I change color, so I'm going to work my way down to the end of this row. Then I'll get you started on the next row, and then I'll just keep working and see what I want to change color. Okay, so we're back at the end. I'm going to skip this stitch and go right over. See how I've already chained my one there? See, I did my single crochet, chain one. We're going to skip this stitch and then go into the top of that chain one space over there. Okay, let's stretch it out a little bit. Chain one and flip it around. Okay, we're going to skip this stitch right here and then go into that chain one space with a single crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet, chain one. Once again, all the way to the end. All right, so now that, why is this here? It's still here. <laughs> <laughs> now that I've got you started on that, I'm just going to continue to work a few rows. And then when I want to change color, we'll come back and we will do that. Okay, so I have done six rows and now I think I'm going to change colors to this rosemary color. So let's get some of this yarn out here. Okay, out of the way, thingy. So now we're at the end. You see I've made this single crochet here in that chain one space. So now I'm going to put my hook into the top of that chain one there. I'm going to pull my yarn up. Well, I said it was. I make my stitches tight, y'all. Okay, so I've got two on my hook. And now I'm going to take my rosemary here and just grab it and pull it through like so. Okay, and now you're ready to continue with that color. So what we're going to do is, I don't think I want to cut that white. Let me think about that. Maybe I will. Yeah, let's go ahead and cut it. Sometimes if you're doing very narrow stripes, you can just carry your yarn up the side and it won't really matter. But I think for this one, I think we'll just cut it. Where are all these little moss pieces coming from? Y'all, I do all of my crafts at this table. So sometimes there is glitter where it shouldn't be. There is moss where it shouldn't be. Okay. All right, so now we're just going to carry on like we have been, except for now with our new color. So let's turn it around here. I just chained one. And now we're going to go back into that first chain one space there. Single crochet, chain one, skip, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one. All the way across. Just make your stripe however thick as you like. I think they look really good when you have like a thick stripe. And then the next stripe maybe is one row thinner, and the next one is one row thinner. You know, it just gives it some diversity, some more dimension. That's what I like. All right, so I'm going to work my way all the way across. Okay, I did four rows of this rosemary color. And now I have put my hook into that last stitch, pulled up my yarn, and now I have two loops here so now we're just going to get our white yarn again just grab it with your hook and pull it through like so all right so now I'm just going to continue in the same manner that we've been doing just putting in a handful of stripes now this part right here I did four rows of the green so the next row that I make that uses green I think I'll do three <laughs> A three, I think I'll do three. Okay, so let's chain one here and then flip her around. And then we're going to go straight into that chain one. And then we're just going to work our way back. So you do your stripes however you want to do them. I'm just going to work on this for a little bit. And of course, when I come back, I want to tell you how many rows I did for the stripes. And then we're going to work our way up to the actual little keyhole section. 
Alrighty, so I have worked quite a few rows, as you can see, and this is what I did. So let's take this look out. Let's take a look at what I did. I will sew these ends in later. I don't like working over them as I go. I don't think it's very secure. But anyway, I did four of green and then four white. Three green, three white, two green, two white, and then one green. And now I have switched to white, and we're going to work quite a few rows in white. So all total right now, we have 26 rows. I'm going to keep on working in white until we reach a total of 42 rows. Okay, so we have 26 now. I switch back to white and we're going to keep working until we have 42. Now, if you're not using different colors, if you're only using one color, then you would just keep working until you have your 42 rows. So after that 42nd row, we're going to start working on the little, the little keyhole part. So I'm going to continue on and I will be back. Okay, so I have worked my way all the way across. I've done all of my rows and I've worked in my ends with my yarn needle. So now I have chained one and we're gonna be working six single crochets. So do one in that chain one space, one in that single crochet, one in the chain one space, one in the single crochet, one in the chain one space, one in the single crochet. Let's see, I think that was six, two, three, four, five, six, yes. So now you're gonna chain 21. One, two, three, four. And now we have 21. So you're gonna skip 27 stitches. Well, why didn't I chain 27? Because this is gonna stretch a little bit, okay? So now you're gonna skip 27 stitches. You can either count counting the chain one spaces as a stitch, the single crochet as a stitch, or you can just come over here and count back six stitches, which I think is easier. So go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we'll just start there, okay? And then six single crochets. So do one in that single crochet, one in the chain one space, one in that single crochet, one in the chain one space, one in the single crochet, and then one at the very end in that chain, okay? So this is what we have so far. Let me scoot up in my chair here. So now we're gonna work a row of single crochets all the way back. This is just gonna make it easier for you instead of trying to do your linen stitch into this chain, okay? So I'm going to chain one and let's turn it around. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So go into your first stitch here for your single crochet. Do one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I want you to work 27 single crochets into this loop that we just made, okay? We're not going into the chain. You can if you want to, but to make it easier on yourself, I'm just working around that chain like so. One, two, three, four, five, and so on until you get 27 and then do your last remaining six single crochets. Okay, so this is what we have. Now we're gonna go right back and start working our stitches the way that we've been doing down here the whole time, okay? So you're gonna chain one and we're gonna turn. So now what we wanna do is we wanna make 20 more rows. That's the size that I like. Now you can make as many rows as you like down here and from this point, you can make as many rows as you like going in the opposite direction. This is just the size that I like in my kitchen. But I'm going to be working 20 more rows. So we're going to skip this stitch, single crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet, and then chain one, just like we've been doing down here all the way across. And then you're gonna continue in that manner until you get to the end of the next 20 rows. Now you can put in stripes if you want to. 
You don't have to put in any more stripes. Like I said, I have stripes down here, so I might put a few stripes on this other end, but it's all up to you. So I'm gonna keep working on this and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm done with this. And as you can see, I just added in a few more stripes down here on the end. Like I said before, you don't have to do that. You can if you want to. So now we're gonna work on our border and our border is just gonna be basic single crochets all the way around. Now I accidentally cut my yarn because one of my littles was talking to me. I wasn't concentrating and I cut it before I had a chance to put on the border. So that's why there's a tail here because I had to reconnect my yarn. So anyway, let's see where we are. So I believe at the end of that row, you're going to want to chain one and then flip your work over. And now we're going to work on our border. And the border is just going to be a single crochet in every single stitch. So we're going to go in, whoopsie. We're going to go into that chain one there. And then we're going to go into that next single crochet. Golly. Amber, your stitches are too tight. Single crochet into the next chain one space. Single crochet into the single. Single crochet into the chain one space. Single crochet into the single. Pretty self-explanatory. One single crochet in every single stitch. Now, when you get over here to the corners, like in Every other crochet project like this, you're going to make three single crochets in this last stitch. That's going to help you to turn this corner, and then you're going to evenly space your single crochets down this side. So let me work on this for a little bit, then get to the corner, and then we'll talk about this side over here. Okay, so I just made three single crochets in that last stitch. So now let's come down this side, and basically all that you want to do is just try to evenly space your single crochets. Oh goodness, if I wouldn't make my stitches so tight. My grandma used to always fuss at me <laughs> when I was learning how to crochet because I made my stitches so daggum tight. Okay, so now what you want to do is as you're making these stitches, every few inches just lay your work down and look at it. Okay, now if your work starts to rumple up like this, you're putting in way too many single crochets. If it starts to kind of curve in like this, you're not putting enough, okay? So just work your way like an inch or two at a time, then set it down. Try to not make these stitches tight. I know it's funny coming from me, but try to not make these stitches really, really tight because then that will also pull your work and make it bunch. So just take your time when you're doing this part. And you're gonna do this all the way around. Three singles in each corner. And then once you get down here, just one stitch, one single crochet in each of these stitches, and then come back up your other side, and you are done. But anyway, let me take this out, because I'll show you how this hangs. Um, there's only one of me to hold the camera, so. Pretend like this is the bar on your stove, okay? So you're gonna go around the front of the bar, bring this around, and then through the hole, okay? So just hold this up front, take this around the bar, and then you're gonna pull this through the hole, and then it'll look a lot better when it's hanging up. I'll get a picture for y'all so you can see, and it hangs up like so. But anyway, I'm going to continue my border. You've already seen the picture of it at the beginning of the video. I will have it again for you at the end of the video so that you can see what it looks like. But if you would, please give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.